Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harry with JR. We're from Battle of Souls, and today we have the Blades of Corn, and of course the worst, worst roll cards. Yep, uh, I'm, I'm I'm liking this. I am I'm as well. This. I mean, we you are stuff. are historically a fan of corn and all things corn. You're not wrong. I did go to GW and I rocked the Blades of Corn. Yeah. I am uh, I'm one in one. Uh, on the GW stream, so I got the belt and everything. Undefeated champion of the world. <laughs> let's not get carried away. But in the meantime, let's open up the Blades of Corn. Uh, let's let's start with the book, and then we'll come back to the uh, the War Scroll cards because those are pretty neat. Sounds this like the, me. the brand new Battle Tome, uh, and uh, we're gonna flip through this. This is everything you need uh, in the book, of course, to to play Blades of Corn. So let's check it out. Yeah. Well, that's a little intro. Uh, here's what we can expect inside the book. Of course, it's going to have, much like the other battle tomes, uh, we're going to see all of the background lore for Corn. It's going to bring us up to uh, up to the current state of the game of Age of Sigmar. And then we're going to go through all the all this stuff here. Uh, yeah, we yeah. have some new stuff to go over. There, there is some new stuff to go over because this does make it into a modern Age of Sigmar army. Uh, it's basically the the sort of thing where um, your your army gets like the i mean they're not endless spells but they're endless spells endless not spells right the and judgments of corn you get the new terrain piece that every army has you yep. get some new uh like the new sub factions and in their own like abilities and command abilities and there's all kinds of cool stuff in here oh yeah uh so it is it is now like a full age of sigmar 2.0 army yeah uh so let's take a look as as you would expect in any of these books you get all the all the lore, all the rules, all the war scrolls, yes, yes, yes. and points at the very end. Let's do it. We're gonna dive through. Uh, we're gonna skip over. I mean, obviously the lore. Right. Uh, there's some new art. That's cool. There's some. That's that's, that's cool. Well, look at that juggernaut. Yep. We're gonna see uh, a bit of lore for each of the uh, units as well. We've seen most of these type of things before. Yeah. Again, lots of background for all the folks that say, "Oh, Age of Sigmar doesn't have any lore." Your lore, you're you're not reading. Yes, yeah, there. it's it's here. There's pages <laughs> and pages of yeah. it. Uh, it talks about all of the way that the the demons have have like overrun the mortal realms and like Corgos right. Cool, uh, yeah. who is one of the coolest characters, eh? uh -huh. uh, took over a moon for a while. I want to show this off too. This is just uh, a little bit of the. Um, the organization, I guess, yeah. of, a, of a bloodbound war horde. You can see, uh, uh, just because Corn uh, uh, likes the skulls, doesn't mean he doesn't like organization. Well, every good manager has an org yeah. chart that they can follow, and yeah. and Corn has uh, diversified his assets into yeah. into a fitting eight different directions. Yeah, there's some synergy going on here. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some paradigm shifting going on here. Business, business, business. <laughs> Corn's all about filing away those skulls. Is what I'm yeah, saying. basically. Uh, moving on from there, we get all the all the, all the units we expect to see. There's again more on Corgos Cole, some yep. of the champions, some of the leaders, uh, all the different Gore Chosen, which are pretty cool actually. Uh, again, these are all characters that we've seen in different variations in the past, and now we have little bits on each one, which is kind of fun. Yeah. It's, yep. it's kind of cool. Uh, get you to get the, to the art the section. Yep. Yeah, you have all of the stuff, including the new uh, Skull Taker that's now in plastic and the new Bloodmaster yeah. as well. The new Herald, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Bloodmaster Herald, Herald of Corn. He he is, of course, also a master of blood and mm -hmm. will make your blood letters really, really good, as yeah. you'll see here in just a few. Uh, you also get a look at one of the, like, you know, like a sample army. This is Cools yeah. Killers. Uh, which there's has cool. everything you want. Uh, and also, I, I want tips. to point out... Where is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's some cool stuff about how to do, like... Like the 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 weird like rust around the brass, the verdigris. Yeah. Uh, it's it's incredibly cool. Like there's a lot of detail that goes into making these guys oh, yeah, yeah. look like they've fought a whole bunch of stuff. But GW's got some excellent, excellent, excellent tutorial painting tips in here. Uh, if you're looking to get your stuff up to snuff, I would definitely take some time in all seriousness to go through that. Now we get to some of the new stuff. Yeah, here we go. Where we get to some of the allegiance abilities. Some of these are similar to the ones we've seen in the previous book. Yeah. And we actually are going to pull that out right now. Hey, hey. And uh, kind of check some of these out. Well, we'll again, see. We'll compare, contrast, and write up a 500-word essay. No, we're not due doing on Monday. any oh, of that. Okay, uh, but here's the old book, and we can kind of see. Yeah. Uh, we've got a uh, blood tithe reward table. I wanted to compare some of these. Yeah. So, again, eight points to spend here, eight points to spend there. Uh, Bloody Exemplar. That one's the same. Mm -hmm. Spell Eater Curse. Also, also the similar. same. Murderlust. Murderlust is back. Crimson and Rain. better than ever. Crimson Rain is different than uh, Apop Apocalyptic Frenzy? 
Uh, Am I saying it? I'm saying that wrong. Apoplectic frenzy? Yeah, JR's name. Yeah. So, well, I I do want to point out that Murder Lust has, like, been upgraded. Uh, So, so you can, you just pick a guy and move, and then you can charge uh, or or make a normal move if you end up within 12 Uh, inches of the Sorry, the the Murder Lust is still there, but the the rules are changed. Yeah, yeah, the rules are different. Uh, Apoplectic frenzy was four, now it was five in the old version, now it's four in the new one, and it's, it's pretty cool. The uh, Brascal Meteor is one of my favorites. That's been shifted around. Yep. Uh, Relentless Fury, is that still here? That one's yep. there. Crimson Rain has swapped spots. And it's gotten and a it's significant better. buff. Yeah, because yeah. now Crimson Rain. Crimson uh, Rain. It falls down. <laughs> well, it, it keeps like all of your multi-wound units uh, regen D3 wounds uh, during the, the hero phase. So yes. that's for each friendly corn unit. So if you've got more than one wound to lose... Uh, sorry, blood letters can't do everything. Yep. Uh, you will be uh, uh, regen, and it's yes. it lasts, and, and there's nothing anyone can do about eight it. Eight is different. This one used to be blood pack that would set up a new unit, mm-hmm. and then this one is this one is slaughter triumphant, which lets yeah. you every time you roll a six, you hit twice instead of once. Uh, yeah. And it's uh, that's a permanent uh, effect. Too, yeah, it's right? a permanent effect. So as soon as you like with with a lot of these, like it's it's a race to get to that so yeah. that you can do more. Yeah, uh, you get that eight blood that pa- might. Yeah. Blood packed ability in, and then you just like start killing things and yeah. getting more blood points. Blood for the Blood God, uh, very similar to what we have here, um, and then we're gonna move on from there. Yeah. Some of the some of the new abilities, it's just it's neat. They got some new stuff. Yeah. So uh, also the the Blood Tithe ability has kind of always been like a cool comeback mm-hmm, mechanic for mm-hmm. armies of corn because you get it whenever a unit is destroyed, no matter what. Yep. And again, if you want to summon. There's rules for that too. Again, mm-hmm. you're going to be spending, I believe, more points yes. to summon stuff in. We saw that change with the updated uh, General's Handbook. Yeah. So moving on from there, uh, command traits, artifacts of power. You got you got new runs for each of the different like factions. There's yeah. the demonic adherence, the gore tide, all that stuff. Yep. Yep. Uh, we have the blood blessings of corn and the new judgments of corn, which your slaughter priests yeah. can call upon. These are pretty nasty too because they're not spells, so you can't dispel them. They aren't. Only you can move them as the corn player because they're your judgments. Yep. Um, so pretty neat there. The skull altar. What does this thing even do? Okay, so the skull altar is a it's it's a, a single terrain piece. It it does uh it lets you re-roll prayer rolls for your your slaughter priests not or, spells or, prayers yes prayer and judgment rolls for any corn priest so not just your slaughter priests uh within eight inches of the model because corn because corn. Uh, can you can re-roll uh and it subtracts one for uh, uh casting rolls from wizards while they're within yeah. 16 inches of the model because because corn corn. hates magic so much that he has formed his own magic to show you just how much he hates it you you mean his not magic yeah uh, here's a couple of the um, different, I guess, sub-factions, you want to call them that? Yeah. Uh, but we got the Reapers of Vengeance, the Blood Lords. Again, these these uh, different sub-factions each get their own little uh, command ability, ability, command traits, artifacts, power, stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. Then you've got the Gortide and the Skullfiend tribe. Yep. And they all do some cool stuff. There are, there's, there's four of those. Yep. Yeah. Not counting the standard Umbrella corn. Right. And then we get into some of the custom some battle plans. Battle plans. Yep. Path to Glory yep. stuff. Uh, and then if, you know how you how you level up. Uh, if you haven't been playing Path to Glory, you should. It's it's a real it's quick, really <laughs> quick and easy way to like uh, just have yep. a great time, have a little mini campaign. Yep. Uh, and then of course, it also helps if you're trying to build your army as you play. But that's a whole other topic. Uh, and then we get into all the different war scrolls for all the different units. A uh, couple of new things. Obviously, we do have the new Herald, yep. uh, which, uh, is, which the is the Blood, Blood Master. Master. Um, the updated version of Karnak is in here too. That mm-hmm. one was in Wrath and Glory. Uh, and now he's here, here, along with the updated Flesh Hounds, who yep. can who can flamethrower bark. Yeah, crushers. Uh, you've got you know, pretty yep. much all the guys you would expect to see. There aren't like huge new changes or new units, just a, a few no. small updates. But having said that, there are a, a lot of little tweaks. Yes. So if you are playing corn, we're not going to go through all those today, but you should definitely pick this book up. Yeah. And uh, a check, lot of the check out your old favorites because they may have been tweaked a little. A bit. lot of aura abilities have been changed, uh, and some for the better. And speaking of judgments and yeah, changes. Here we go. We got There's the Hexagore Skulls, the Bleeding Icon, and, and then finally the Wrath Axe. So, and then, of course, all the pitch battle points and changes there as well. Cool. Now let's grab the uh, War Scrolls. Wow. And we can flip through these real quick. Again, we're not going to go through all these, but you get the idea. First you get, off, you get your tokens. You get your tokens. You get your command points. You too. get your little back of the back of the box yep. deal. These are actually really handy, just markers that you can keep uh, on the tabletop. They're smaller than the previous versions. Um, 
probably just to move them around, but I mean, they work functionally, they are the exact same. And then we've got all the war scrolls here. And again, it's a whole stack. So yeah. it, it, it is full stack development right here, folks. Yeah. <laughs> so just real quick, we've <laughs> got the blood thirsters. That upside down. Yeah, you can flip them. You can, uh, some of these are the dual, dual cards. Yeah. Slaughter priest, etc. Yeah. Some many of these are the dual cards. Yeah. Wow. And then uh, we're not going to go through all these, but you can you get the idea. You get the war scroll. Here's the soul grinder if you want to look at that. It's got all the stats that you need. Quick reference for the cards on the card, excuse me. Uh, it's got their keywords and all that fun stuff. Everything you need to play those units. And we've also got their judgments in the back too. Wow. Ooh. So yep, skull alter, bleeding icon, hex, hex, hex war scroll. skulls. Yeah. Chomp, chomp, chomp. They will eat your magic and spit it back out. Corn likes them skulls. But yeah, that's uh, that's all of the War Scrolls and the new Blades of Corn Battle Tome, which it's, is fantastic. It's a cool book. You yeah. guys should check it out. Yeah. Skulls. Skulls, skulls, skulls. I'm Adam here. I'm JR. We're from Bell Lost Souls. Thanks for watching. to subscribe check out more videos and thanks for watching